Security Breach was a controversial addition to the FNAF series to say the least, and while receiving lots of criticism for some minor issues with the game, there was an overwhelming support for it overall. So in this video we will be determining if and why or why not Security Breach failed as a game. In order to determine this we need to look at three main aspects of the game. The economic gain, the growth or decline of active players, and how satisfied players are with the gameplay and lore value of Security Breach, and then compare this to other similar games to get a ground for our decision. The first indicator of a game's success is its average active player base decline over the month following release, or simply how many players continue to play the game a month after release. Security Breach had a decline of 48% from its first to second month of release. That means that basically half of regular players stopped playing the game after the initial hype. And while that sounds extremely high, it isn't particularly abnormal. It's actually incredibly good compared to other FNAF games. FNAF 3, 4 and Sister Location had a drop off of roughly 72%. This obviously isn't the fairest representation as Security Breach does offer far more replayability, but it goes to show that lots of the community continued on unlike for other games of a similar scale and replayability such as Cyberpunk, which after being super hyped up and flopping on release had a 75% drop off of active players. Using these stats we can see another hit horror game like Poppy Playtime was very successful. As you can see this type of data does display the success of a game when compared to similar games of its type. So when taking this all into account we can see that based off player drop off security breach did not fail as a game in this aspect. Revenue made from security breach is harder to measure as it is hard to calculate precisely so this segment will be shorter. The estimated revenue generated by security breach was between 1.4 and 51.8 million dollars and with such a massive range it is almost impossible to compare. However even the lowest bound of revenue seen does show that to steal will at least this game was definitely a success bringing in a significant boost to their previously estimated revenue of $2.8 million. While community reception of the game is probably the most key indicator of Security Breach's success, it is much harder to measure than the others, as it is opinion based data we can't analyse it the same way. I'll try to include as varied views as possible, but just keep in mind you may disagree with what is being said, which is completely fine. Also, when mentioning my own opinion, this little icon will appear in the top right. To cover all the different opinions of the community concerning Security Breach, I had to break them into subcategories. The first being opinions on Security Breach as a FNAF title. Of all the comments I saw, a clear majority said in some way Security Breach did not live up to the FNAF name, or as Oreto Orio, I hope I said that right, put it, simply did not seem to have the feel or relevance to the main plot. That being said, I think the game did introduce good groundwork that can be expanded on later, and personally, I'm going to have to disagree with the majority here. I think Security Breach, while expanding the horizon, of what FNAF could be also did a good job of including a level of lore and mystery to the game that still lent itself to theorising, continuing the core of the FNAF series. However, I will agree the horror aspect was just not there. Carrying on, Security Breach as a game relies heavily on two primary gameplay pillars, horror and adventure or survival. In particular, the adventure aspect was executed really well. While running around in a massive pizzaplex, it's hard not to be amazed at how far the series has come, from being motionless in a single office to openly exploring an entire pizzaplex. And there are so many areas to explore that while the gameplay can feel a bit like a constant retrieval mission, at least the environment is always changing. The community in general had a fairly similar outlook, but it was a bit conflicted. Some players enjoyed the adventurous side of the game now that the bugs have been fixed, while still being underwhelmed by the underdeveloped survival aspect. Others have more extreme views on both sides. A user said Security Breach failed as both a FNAF game and a regular game, however with no real explanation. On the other hand, members are saying that is an enjoyable addition to FNAF despite potentially being too large a scope for Steel Wool to aim for. But I personally like that Steel Wool dreamed big. It allowed them to deliver a game with so much more love and leave plenty to be explored which players may not have gotten otherwise. And finally, as I believe most players and community members will agree, the horror and security breach was subpar by a long way. This was an intentional decision by PlayStation for the game to be available to a wider audience, which I personally think is quite strange for a horror game. The community was severely disappointed by the scariness of security breach in almost all aspects aside from maybe two or three missions such as the daycare and endo scenes, but even the initial fear from these sections faded very quickly. Thank you.
Every single comment I found agreed that the horror in Security Breach was effectively non-existent and was a letdown compared to the other games in the series, especially to the OG players that really cherished the exclusive horror found in the original games that seems to be fading in the current releases, which I actually covered a bit more in my previous video. So we now have all the information and data to come to a conclusion. Did Security Breach fail as a game? Security Breach did for sure subvert the expectations of the community, changing lots of details last minute but ultimately Steel Wool were able to construct a game that hit marks across the board for a FNAF game. It implemented new lore and mystery, had a solid adventuring basis, and had overall positive reception from the community, with an 82% positive rating on the Steam page, as well as making a huge amount of revenue for Steel Wool. On the flip side, it undermined the key horror aspects we see in every other canon FNAF game, retracting from the Five Nights at Freddy's title it has, which led to dispute over the quality of the game lacking such key aspects. Aspects. Overall, however, it is clear to see the majority of data and opinions lead towards Security Breach succeeding as a game. And while it may not have passed with flying colours, it provided the community with new ideas and entertainment while still keeping firm roots to the original game. I hope that answer is satisfactory to you, and if you have any other opinions, please leave them down below. I'll be sure to check them out. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.